Whew, week one was crazy in the NFL. Week two is going to be even better. Um, let me. Yes, yes, I know. My predictions have gone absolutely horribly so far, but that's the beauty of it. It's only week one, so we can only go even worse from here. Let me talk about week one real quick. Um, there was a lot to talk about. Um, the scores, obviously, from this week. You have the Lions beating the Chiefs 21-20 in the opener. And, I mean, Travis Kelsey wasn't in this game, and it was a disaster for the Chiefs. I mean, my goodness. Kadarius Tony dropping balls left and right. The rest of the offense doesn't know what to do, aside from maybe um, Clyde Edwards-Lair. And, um, you know, of course, of course, Mahomes, of course, you know, Mahomes is doing his thing. But the rest of the offense and, and maybe Isaiah Pacheco as well. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the offense, oh my goodness, the rest of this offense, truly, truly something else. Yeah, Kelsey's going to have like a 100 catch season if he if he whenever he decides to, you know, come on back. He's going to he's supposed to come back this week. But uh yeah. This is going to be this is going to be a strange one. This is going to be a strange one, you know. Um CJ Stroud, Bryce Young unimpressive to me, uh but you have B John Robinson and you have Anthony Richardson. They were a lot more impressive. They did a lot better. The 49ers absolutely destroyed the Steelers. I mean, we're talking Brock Purdy. He's the man. I mean, looks like 49ers made the right decision. He's the man. He's got a lot of talent helping him out, but taking advantage of what the Steelers can give you certainly makes you look better. And the Steelers looked like absolute trash. TJ Watt was the only guy showing up out there. Um, the Giants... Yeah, they shouldn't have paid Daniel Jones all that money. They needed to invest in a old line. They still didn't invest in the old line. And I mean, my goodness, that old line looked awful. That that the whole thing just looked awful for the Giants. I mean, turnover after turnover. 40 to nothing ain't no slouch to look at. You know, I'm I'm happy as a Cowboys fan, but at the same time, for the Giants, that that just looks ugly on you. At least try. You know, at least try to score something. They tried, but they couldn't get anything. They couldn't get anything. And the Giants, you know, yeah, this is rough. Unfortunately, two ACL tears, one from J.K. Dobbins, the other from Aaron Rodgers. I mean, man, it hurts. The one against Aaron, the one that happened with Aaron Rodgers where you could clearly see his, his calf just buckle and his ACL just completely tear. Yeah. That was rough. Rough to look at over and over again because, you know, ESPN likes to show the replay 90 million times. It was rough. It was rough to look at, man. And, it, you know, these types of injuries are hard to come back from. And so both those guys, I hope they get well soon and they get back on the field. You know, Aaron Rodgers, you know, despite the fact that, you know, I don't really like the guy all that much, he's a absolutely fantastic football player. Fantastic. You know, J.K., you know, he'll be replaced by the other backs of the backfield because, you know, Baltimore has a bevy of backs. Joe Burrow, on that Thursday night, he signed a $275 million five-year deal, and he just gets manhandled by Miles Garrett. He just gets manhandled by the Browns defense. I mean, 24-3? to Y'all paid $275 million to Joe Burrow for that performance against the Browns? Yeah, Nick Chubb ran all over you. Yeah, Deshaun Watson even, you know, was, you know, playing decently as he, you know, we got a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown in this game. But like, come on, at least try. Like, what was what was going on out there? Um, are the Rams back? I mean, if you got Geno Smith calling for God against Aaron Donald, I, I get it. I get it. Are they back? That's crazy to me. If they are, I, like I don't, uh, I, 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 it's inexplicable to me. Like they outplayed the Seahawks in every facet, 30-13 in that game. Unfortunately for the Bills, you know they played the game on Monday night and they lost in overtime, you know, to the Jets with no Aaron Rodgers. They lost to the Jets with no Aaron Rodgers on a, you know. Return 
on a return, you know, punt return back to the house. And, you know, Jordan Whitehead, you know, took the ball away from Josh Allen three times. That's that's terrible. Like, Josh Allen, you know, is a turnover machine, but he has to stop it. He has to stop it right now. If he, you know, I'm thinking, I, I really thought, you know, the Bills would be able to do a whole heck of a lot coming into this year, you know, with the way that they were touting, and I bought into the hype, but, you know, the major problem is Josh Allen turning the ball over too much. It's, it's just facts. I mean, he's turned it over the most over besides, you know, like some other quarterbacks in the NFL. Like, he's turned it over way too much, and he's got to stop it. And, I mean, teams like the Vikings, Texans, no, not the Texans. The Texans are terrible. The Titans, the Broncos, why do they continue to muck it up? Like, there's no reason the Broncos, with an onside kick, should have lost to the Raiders. There's no reason the Saints, with Derek Carr, should have beat the Titans. Why Why has Derek Henry not running the ball for the Titans? What is going on? What are we doing? Why, 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 why did Baker Mayfield beat the Vikings? This doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense. Ridiculous. And, and, I mean, speaking of things that are ridiculous, Mac Jones came into his own a little bit against the Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles, you know, made defensive plays late in this game and throughout the game, really. But, man, Mac Jones, you know, he's playing decent football out there again. He's played some really good football. I mean, 300 yards against this Eagles defense? Come on, man. What do you mean? What, like, what? Um... Tyreek Hill, he's going to get 2,000 yards this year. The way Tua played, and I mean, guys like J.C. Jackson, they got cooked out there. The Chargers got cooked on so many drives. Yeah, the Chargers, you know, were in a Big 12 shootout with the Dolphins, but the but the but the main thing is is that Tyreek Hill cooked the Chargers. They cooked them. How do you let this man cook you for over 200 yards? How does this happen? This doesn't make any sense, man. Yeah, yeah, Herbert, you know, was doing his thing. Yeah, Austin Eckler was out here doing his thing. You know, yeah. But again, come on, man. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, y'all. The Chargers are going to continue to charge her. And the Bears, well, they got their new master, Jordan Love. He played electric out there. Shout out to Aaron Jones, my favorite player in the NFL as well. Played electric. Um, so, yeah. So, there's week one in a nutshell. Week two, um, I only got a few things to say about week two at the moment. Uh, you know, Kirk Cousins, he's nicknamed primetime Kirk Cousins for a reason. Is he going to be able to get over the hump yet again? Because he's, he's gone over it at least once before. But for the most part, Kirk Cousins hasn't had good luck in primetime. And... You know, the Eagles' defense, yeah, they allowed over 300 yards against Mac Jones. Could could they be cooked again with Justin Jefferson in the slot and Jordan Addison? We'll find out. We'll find out. Because, I mean, the Eagles' defense, the them, them Georgia Eagles, I mean, it's still pretty tough. Again, they, they cause turnovers. So that, that that's the thing. So the Vikings are going to have to get, get on that. Um how will the Jets function over the next few weeks? There's a lot of primetime games for the Jets. And Zach Wilson going to have to be the guy now. Whoever they sign as the backup, I've heard Colin Kaepernick. I've heard Nick Foles. I've heard Carson Wentz. I've heard all sorts of things. I don't know who they're going to put behind Wilson for the moment, but uh, they got to get ready, whoever that backup is, if Wilson you know, doesn't perform well. He performed adequately enough. On Monday night, but adequately enough ain't gonna get it done, you know, especially for a team that I picked to, you know, get a wild card spot, which I don't know if they will at this point. I, I can't believe I messed up my predictions so badly. I, I, I knew I should have put Miami in my predictions. So I, I, I genuinely don't know what I was thinking there. Um, we're gonna see what the Falcons are going to do against the Packers. You know, Packers have a really, you know, Nice setup on offense, pretty good defense. What kind of game are we going to see with B. John Robinson, Tyler Algier, 
you know, are, is this what the Falcons are going to be this year? Because Ritter threw for like 150 yards. So is this what it's going to be for the Falcons this year? Because I can get behind it. I can get behind it. A run first type team. I can get behind it. With those two guys being electric, I can get behind it. And, you know, some of these defenses, you know, the Cowboys, I was impressed with, of course, you know, Diggs, Marcus Lawrence, you know, the Rams, you know, I mean, I mean, it's just the Rams were everywhere, everywhere, you know, not, not just, I mean, it wasn't just Aaron Donald, it, it was guys, you know, like Jones, like Fuller, uh, Roseboom, you know, you know, it, it wasn't just it wasn't just the Aaron Donald show, but he was getting back there. Are, are, are these, these these defenses can they keep it up? I think the Cowboys can. I don't know about the Rams, but I definitely think the Cowboys can keep this up. And the Cardinals, I don't know how they lost to Sam Howell and the, and the Washington Commanders. Like Sam Howell looked like trash in this game against the Cardinals. He threw a couple picks. You know, I genuinely do not know how this team lost. Now they're going up against the Giants this week. Let's hope they don't lose. And one more thing, I guess, you know, Sunshine, Trevor Lawrence versus Patrick Mahomes. That's going to be a good one out in the land of AEW. That's going to be a good one. Um, so check your local listings for the games in your area. Definitely watch the Packers, Falcons, Chiefs, Jags games in the early window. And then Broncos country. Let's ride against the Commanders, along with my Cowboys facing the Jets. I'm going to be watching those games. And, of course, you know, all the, you know, there's a Monday night doubleheader this week, technically. It's staggered. Like one like one hour is going to be the first hour. It's going to be the Saints and the Panthers. And the next hour, you know, at 7-15, it's going to be the Browns and the Steelers. And, of course, that Thursday night matchup. Going to be an interesting matchup, I'll say the least, on that. And all the rest of the games are going to be real fun as well, I can imagine. So that's what I'm looking at this week. What are you looking at? Um, I know I know, I got at least one poll about one game already, and that's that Minnesota-Philadelphia game. I'll have a couple polls out for the other games. And, yeah, that's about it. Uh, the Man Cup did go to a game five, so more than likely we will be talking either tomorrow or Friday or maybe even Saturday. You know, it's going to be one of those three days. If, it, if the Man Cup ends tonight, it's going to be tomorrow. If it ends, um, you know, Thursday or Friday, no, or, or Friday or Saturday, it's going to be either Friday or Saturday. Uh, so, yeah, um, y'all y'all stick around, stick with it. Um, the indoor arena update will be on Sunday morning. I'm going to have that out on Sunday morning. So y'all tune in, check it out. I've uploaded a few shorts on the channel as well. So y'all check those out. If you stuck with me till the end, I'm really appreciative of you. Thank you all so much for watching. And Big Boy Sports is going to sign on out. Take care. Have a good night, everybody.